Hi guys, it's Faye up here to film my what I got for my 18th birthday video. This was requested quite a lot on Instagram and also a lot of people on YouTube said they wanted to see what I got and because I recently had my 18th birthday, it was about two weeks ago. So I've got all the presents from upstairs and I thought I'd just go through them with you. If this isn't the type of video for you, then feel free to click off. Um, but I also filmed a vlog on the day of my birthday, so if you think you'd much prefer to watch that, I'll leave the link in the description. So I went to London um, for the day with my boyfriend and I vlogged the whole day. So if you guys want to watch that and you want to watch this one, um, the link will be in the description. It's on my vlog channel. So today I am downstairs, no one is in my house and I've got a new camera. So I hope you guys can notice the difference. This was one of my main birthday presents from my mum. So I got the box here because I couldn't actually remember the name of it. It's the Panasonic TZ57 Lumix camera. So if you guys can see that, um, it's the one with the flip screen. So if you can see me like looking up now and then looking at the lens, um, there's a flip screen. So I find it so much easier to film main channel videos now. And it's going to be so much easier for me to film tutorials, like makeup tutorials and stuff. Um, so there you can see like kind of there. The camera is like a flip screen and it auto focuses, which is one of the main things um, which I wanted it to do. So I'm currently filming on this. If it's any better or if it's worse, let me guys let me know in the comments. Um, so I'm currently filming with this one. If it's any good, let me know below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Also, is the audio any good? And let me know um, if you want me to vlog on this one or vlog on my old one. I just need to hear your guys' opinions on what you think. So camera was the first present. This is in no particular order. All the bags are just on the floor and I'm just going to pick them up and show you what's in what. So most of the stuff or all of the stuff in here is from Connor's family. So my birthday was on the Monday the 1st and then on Thursday the 4th, I think, we all went out to the Harvester, which is a restaurant, and um, they all brought me presents and stuff, all Connor's family. So from Connor's um, auntie, or one of them, she got me the makeup, well not makeup, sorry, the Academy of Colour Nail Polish Collection, for Amazing Shades. So it's in this little box here, the sun is really bright, and it's just got some nail varnishes in there, which I thought were really cute. I also got from my best friend who is Connor's cousin, um, a photo frame of us too. This was at a party last year and we look like we're having the time of our lives. And she got me that and it's a really nice frame to go with my bedroom. Um, also from my best friend she got me this which was wrapped up because it's quite delicate. Um, but it's like this little plaque and it says on it, friends are like stars, you don't have to see them to know they're always there. Yeah, along the lines. So I'm going to put that in my bedroom as well, but I just thought that was so pretty. And um, this was from Ben Tools. And then one of the main presents, which was from Connor's family, um, his, one of his aunties and my best friend, and Connor, all put towards getting me a Thomas... Depends how you say it. I say Thomas Sabu. Some people say Sabo. It just depends how you say it. They got me a charm bracelet. So, um... My best friend bought me the actual bracelet, and then her mum and another one of Connor's aunties. So Connor's two aunties. It's so confusing bought me um, the B charm and then Connor got me the 18 charm so if I could just do it up or not there we go um, so he got me so I've got the little B charm there and I've also got the 18 charm if you can see that this is so pretty um, I'm actually going to wear it today but I'm so scared to wear things like this just because they're so pretty and it's really nice and lightweight um, so basically from Connor's family I got a bracelet which is really really pretty and I love things like this because you can just keep adding to the charms you might be able to see it a bit better like that um, and there's a pug charm, so definitely going to be getting that one soon. So the next bag is just a random bag. Um, some of the stuff in here is from Connor and my mum. So the first thing are a pair of jeans. I really wanted a pair of the Topshop jeans in this kind of denim colour. But I went in there for like three weeks and they didn't have my size. So I just picked up these ones, which are ripped ones. They're quite creased actually because I've worn them once. Um, these are the Darcy jeans from Dorothy Perkins. Um, I've never had any of these jeans before because they're quite new, but because I work in Dorothy Perkins, I um, thought I'd try them out. So they've got the rips there on the knee and on the top there, and I just thought I'd give them a try, and I wore them when I went out for dinner, and they're really, really comfortable. They fit really nicely, and they're not too long because I'm quite petite, I always find it quite hard to find trousers that fit me on the leg and the waist. So the next two things are from my mum. I picked these, actually, which this was one of the first things that I actually asked for. Um... So I asked for the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which is just the foundation brush from Real Techniques. I'm sorry, the light is really, really bright outside. And I also got the um, two Miracle Complexion Sponges, which are just the little like beauty blenders. I have actually used this um, every day since my birthday, but I wanted to put it back in the packet because um, it just looked nicer to show you. So if I can just open it, you can see that it's got like makeup all on it, but it's so 
it's so soft and um, the foundation which I also got which I'm going to show you in a minute works really well with the, this brush um, and I've just been keeping it in a really nice condition so because I knew I was getting foundation or because I asked for foundation I really wanted to get some new um, tools to apply it nicely so speaking of the foundation from my nan she got me the Clinique Even Better foundation which I never actually have had anything from Clinique before um, but I tried a MAC foundation I think it would have been about six months ago and I really wasn't impressed with it um, and it was about £25 or something it was a studio fix one I don't know if it's just because my colour wasn't matched to me properly or it just didn't really suit me and I found it was really like cakey um, so I really wanted a new like high end foundation and I went to Bentles and there's like a beauty section downstairs so I went to like um, Benefit, YSL, Clinique, Clarins, um, Bare Minerals and the one that I found the most um, that suited my skin a lot better was the Clinique one. Um, so my shade is 01 so I got a sample of each foundation and just tried them for a week for my birthday. So my nan kindly got me this one and I've been wearing this one every day since. So I'm currently wearing it at the moment. But I look so pale because I've got on like a dark lip and the sun is like shining so crazy at the moment. But um, I just thought that would um, be nice to try out and I love it so far. Okay, the sun's gone in so you just have to bear with me. I'm using natural lighting today. Um, but it's surprisingly sunny today so I'm not complaining. Um, so the next three things are things from Connor which I mentioned I would like. Um, the first thing is a primer. It's the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Primer which I wear every day um, before I put on my foundation. It's just... The, it's just it's not a shade, it's just the one. So it's just this one here, I love using it. And it's got no colour or anything to it. And it doesn't really have a scent. Um, so I asked for that and it's been working with my um, Clinique foundation really well. The next thing I got is the as in 17 Define and Conquer Contour Kit, that's a mouthful. So I tried to use this once or twice but I didn't really have the right brushes to do it properly. So it didn't look that great. But the packaging really reminds me of NARS. This is what it looks like. And then obviously you've got the contour on one side and the highlight on the other side so it just looks like that um, so I'm going to learn how to use this and then be a contour goddess and this wasn't too expensive either I think he got this from Boots and it was under the £5 mark if you're looking for a little contour kit um, and the next thing he got me is the um, Vivid Baked Highlighter from the brand Revolution which um, is from Superdrug so I posted a few weeks ago on Instagram two blushes which I got from there and I love them so much that I wanted to get the um, highlighter, which is in the shade Peach Light. I don't know if that's backwards for you, backwards for me. Um, but this is really, really pretty. That's what it looks like. It's just a really nice, shimmery, like, oystery pink colour. And I'm currently wearing it at the moment, just here. Next two things from my mum are um, nail varnishes. I was actually wearing them yesterday, the colour on my nails, but because it was so chipped, I just decided to take it off this morning. It's the two Barry M New Range um, Sunset Daylight Curing Nail Polishes. So you buy the colour and then you've also got to buy the top coat. Um, it's a shake well, keep from heat, use only with a sunset top coat. Um, it just basically, I don't really know the point of it. I think it's just meant to last a bit longer. But the colour I got is Dark Side of the Shroom 546 I believe. Which is a really nice mauve colour. And then obviously it just comes, or well you have to buy this separately, so it's just the um, top coat there. Um, two more makeup items from Connor. I ordered this myself because I knew that he would have a clue what it was on about. Um, but I really wanted to try the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So all the YouTubers go on about this, and this is just the original one. I used this this morning, and I have used it a few um, times before. And I really like using it, so it just looks like this. I just apply it before my eyeshadow, and it um, prevents my eyeshadow from like creasing and like falling under my eyes. And I got this from Feel Unique and it was £16 I believe or £14. And the next thing which I have been wanting for ages because it's Zoella's favourite lipstick is the Rimmel, is it a Kate Moss one? Yes, Kate Moss lipstick in 107. So I'm wearing this at the moment but I'm also wearing it with another colour because it's quite dark. This is what it looks like. It's super, super pretty. Um, I'm not going to do a swatch because it took ages to come off because it's super pigmented. Um, two more things which were from my auntie. She picked me, um, she asked me if I wanted anything from Kiko which is a online brand and I know that they have one in Reading in the Oracle. I'm not sure if they had them anywhere else but it's an Italian brand I believe, makeup brand. So I picked up these two things and she just bought them for me. So I got the Kiko Rebel Bouncy Blush and I love the packaging so much for these. So I just think the packaging so cute. It's like a little compacty, oh, no, you dropped it. And it's quite dark. Um, the shade I got was 01 Velvety Peach. 
I haven't tried this one yet but I'm quite excited to because I haven't ever tried anything from their brand before I don't think. Um, also the next thing I picked up was the Dark Circle Concealer by Kiko and I got this in the shade 01 as well and I've used this yesterday I believe. Um, so I used this yesterday and it comes in like a little pumpy thing. I have an obsession with keeping everything in boxes if you didn't already notice. Um, so it looks like this and it comes with a little pump um, and you can kind of see the colour of the concealer because I've smudged it all over the lid. I feel like I need to do an updated on that focus. I feel like I need to do an updated makeup collection because Christmas and my birthday literally all I asked for was makeup so like makeup collection is just like flew off the scale which was one of my main presents which was from my mum and dad I got a Michael Kors watch um, I haven't actually worn this yet because it's been too big for me so last night my stepdad took out the links for me but I picked this one or I picked a few and this is the one they picked which was my favourite one actually oh it's so pretty um, so I have quite a small wrist um, so I don't feel like watches really suit me but I think this is called a Parker Michael Kors Parker style Parker watch because um, the face is smaller so it's still got all the plasticky bits on it but um there's the face it's really blingy and I love this part I just love the like nude and I love the rose gold and it's so pretty I'm gonna put it on now there we go so I put it on now I just love it so much it's so pretty and it's quite loose but that's how I like my watches I don't like them too tight I'm just going to leave it on for the rest of the video now. Okay, so also from my mum, she did this thing where she got me like my camera and she got me my watch and then she had this massive bag and after I'd opened all my presents, she gave it to me and inside were 18 presents, all starting with a B. So some of them, I'm, I don't have all 18 with me because some of them were things like chocolate buttons. So I've eaten some and aero bubbles, I've eaten some. But most of the things I think I still have and they should be in this bag. So one of the things she got me was a bath bomb. My mum's like really thoughtful like that, um, at first I opened like three presents and I didn't really understand like the theme and then she told me that they all started with a B because my name's Bailey and I was 18 so she got me 18 presents and she's so lovely like that, I love my mum, um, but she got me this bath bomb here from Bomb Cosmetics and it smells amazing, it says, it's not a bath bomb actually, it's like a um, bubble bath, it says you use up to six baths, it doesn't actually, oh, it's called the Chock Around the Croc, Croc? It's the Chock Around the Clock Brulee. I'm just going to show you because I probably said that wrong. At the top there. But it smells amazing. And I didn't know that they did bubble bars. So excited to use that. I also got this from Connor. It's just a spirit glass and coaster. Although it's quite big for a spirit glass. I'm just going to use it for like juice and stuff. Because I don't actually drink alcohol. Um, and it comes with a coaster. But I really wanted like just a little 18 set that I can keep. Um, hopefully I don't smash it. But this was from the card factory. And then also from the girls at work, they got me this massive wine glass, which is so funny. Um, so if you like wine, then this would be a great present for you. I could put like juice in there. Um, and it's really sparkly and pretty at the bottom and that's really funky. So in here are a few of the things that my mum got me, starting with a B. So she got me biscuits, um, just a little cute present there. I've got buttons, Cadbury's buttons, which are delicious. She got me brownie mix. How cute is that? I love brownies and I'm going to make these with Connor because she's gone on holiday today actually. She's gone to Egypt with my stepdad. So um, I'm staying at Connor's for the week so I thought I could take this and it'll be a nice little thing for us to do. And brownies. So from Connor he got me this bag which I picked from Dorothy Perkins. I don't know why I love this so much. I literally am in love with this bag. It's got a strap here. Um, it's been, it recently went into the sale, so I wanted to buy it when it was £15, um, and then it went into the sale like a few days for my birthday, so I was like, it's fate, so it's now down to £8, and there's different colours, but I just love the pattern for this, like, this is really nice, like, wallpaper design, I just really, really like it, it's really big for all my stuff when I'm going out and stuff, and I just love the handle, and it's also detachable, so you can have it as a clutch. He also got me a scarf, I got this one in black as well, um, that I bought myself, I thought I had it for Christmas then, um, this is also from Dorothy Perkins and this was £12 I believe, but I just love scarves at the moment because it's quite cold in England, um, I got this one in black as well. Next thing from my mum, which was another B item, is a bag here with a B on it. I'm actually going to use this for when I go shopping because you know you have to pay for bags now. Um, I hate putting bags, I hate putting clothes in carrier bags and this folds up quite small so if I put this in my handbag, when I go clothes shopping, I've got my little bag ready for me and I can save my 5Ps. 
So the next thing my mum got me, which was another B item, is a copper bowl. I'm obsessed with copper at the moment. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in this at the moment, um, but I'm going to put it on my desk and find something to put in there. I was thinking maybe cotton wool pads and like um, cotton buds. I think that just look really cute. Another thing my mum got me, which is really funny, is mould your own boyfriend. I've never actually done one of these like moulding things before, um, but it's it looks quite fun to do. It says modelling putty and accessories kit. So it looks like this, um, you mould your boyfriend and then there's like accessories and stuff so I'm excited to give that a little play. I also got a hairbrush from my mum which is really really handy, it's got a really nice brush, it's like a silicone-y like really really squishy brush so the handle's really nice to hold. It's just a silicone soft grip grooming brush and obviously this starts with a B so that's another present she got me. I also got a body scrubber which I'm really excited to use because I have one of like the shower puffy things um, but this looks quite fun to use. It's the Super Loafer Body Scrubber. I'm not sure where she got this from but you can like kind of feel it through the like a hole so you can feel the texture. It feels really really good and really nice for exfoliating. Um, I also just got these. One was from my mum and one was from my auntie. It's a little 18 key ring there and a little key. Um, I think these were from the same place but how cute are they? I'm gonna... These are things that you can like keep forever. I'm definitely going to keep this and I'm going to pop this on my keys. Also from my mum she got me the book which um, when I opened it I had never seen this book before it said this book loves you and it's by PewDiePie who's a YouTuber um, it's just like this is my book like I like to read but I'd much prefer to look at this it's just like a picturey book like the pages are just so pretty it's got like quotes and like inspirational things on each page it's just like lovely really really like this and I love this melody books as well. So I'm now moving on to the last um, few things. From Connor also he got me some little um, melting marble bath pearls. Oh they're summer fruit flavours. We picked these together when we was in Superdrug. I think it was like the day before my birthday and we just went shopping for some few bits and then um, he was like do you want anything? I used to have these in my bath when I was younger. I don't know if any of you guys remember these. They're like oil capsules um, so they're really nice and softening for the skin and I've never seen this brand before and there was quite a few stuff from there so I'm excited to go back and try some more and he also got me these little um, books here because he knows how much I love to write my notes so it says dreaming of beautiful things and it's got like a black and coppery one on the back there and these are from the card factory because um, I was with him when he bought them but I love this things like this just get me stationery and pens are like my favourite um, also from the girls at work they did get me like a bottle of um, rosé along with my wine glass and they also got me a necklace from Topshop I'm not sure how I'm going to show you this it's just like on a bit of rope and it's really really pretty and like sparkly um, second to last um, is a present from Connor's Nan which is the sweetest thing ever I don't know if you guys watched my um, what I got for Christmas video but she got me loads of like makeup brushes and makeup and stuff and for my birthday she got me this which I never knew that Bayless and Harding did so it's like an actual handbag which has um, a little coin percy attached but the thing I love about this is you can actually use the bag after you've used the products inside so it's the weekend essentials weekend and phone purse bag so it comes with bath milk, bath cream, shower gel, hand and nail cream, body wash, body butter and a body polisher this is such a great present for someone who like loves fashion and loves beauty because the colour of this bag, I don't actually own a bag this colour um, but it's coming up to spring and this will be like great for just like pop into town and stuff and obviously all the stuff inside sounds lovely and nice to pamper yourself with so I was so glad that I got this and the last thing I got is this necklace that I'm currently wearing this was also from Connor, it was from Dorothy Perkins I don't know if you guys can see that, it's just like a little long chain that you can even see throughout the video um, but that was everything I got for my birthday, I feel like I'm forgetting something um, I got money from the rest of my... Um, family and stuff like that but I think that's everything I've got and I'm so happy this was probably one of my best birthdays ever um love my watch it's so lightweight as well I was quite worried that it was going to be really heavy but it's so lightweight and I love it so much so I'm going to pop in the description bar what I'm wearing today because this is brand new this was from new look actually and I'm going to pop in the makeup that I'm wearing in the description bar so you guys can go and check that out if you're wondering what I'm wearing and what makeup I've got on and also let me know whether you like the camera or not and I'll see you guys at my next one bye guys